Andy and Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. There's Dave Cackley. Have we made it to a Friday? Have we really? Yes, we have. Look at us. Holy mackerel. Mm -mm. I'm here to tell you what. I couldn't be more excited that it's a Friday. Um, Big to do all weekend long. Everything is uh, exciting. Everything's fresh. We're we're up Mm -hmm. and enthusiastic and all that stuff. And that's what I got. Yeah. I, I got to go. I got to head over uh, to my friends over in Midland. Uh, their son is graduating high school. It's a oh. buddy of mine from high school. I, I the same friends that I go that have a cottage on Lake Macosta. So Macosta. 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 Again, Macosta. That's another thing. The pronunciation. Don't don't get me like you were effing up pronunciations left and right yesterday. I was doing and that one's de- that one's what, debatable. What do you mean I was effing up pronunciation? I never. What did I mess up yesterday? The very end. What? What? You didn't get the phraseology right. You screwed up the phrase. I did not. I can't even remember it. You'd have. We'd have to revisit again. My short-term memory. Your short-term is memory is shit, a problem. So. Yeah. Oh, it's a major issue. Long-term, no, I, no I didn't issue screw at all. Up anything. So you're, you're the one admitting memory problems, and you can't even remember what I screwed up. You know what else? I, I just forgot and remembered because she was in my dream last night. Natalie Portman. I was going to say Barbara Eden, but no. um, Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. Stout actress. Um, yes, very I'll solid. tell you a movie that could never be made today that she was in. Beautiful Girls. No. Oh. A what? movie that she made that was that could never be made today with the way society is that she was in that was just awesome. The Profession. Which was? I, don't, I didn't see it. She was about a 12-year-old in okay. the movie. And um, I think the guy's name was Jean Reno that played okay. a hitman. He was a French actor. Mm-hmm. And it was all centered in this one apartment building, right? And yeah. there were scenes in there where he's basically protecting this little girl and teaching mm-hmm. her how to be a hitman. Okay. But there were some scenes in there that were somewhat suggestive. Okay. I see what you say. Yeah. Um uh, Nothing ever came of it, and he really right. did protect this little girl, but mm-hmm. but it was just a little on the edge of creepy, and it could never get made today. The she did two of those. Movie. She really? did two of those because did you see Beautiful Girls? No, that had a great cast because it was Natalie Natalie Portman was like thirteen in that one. You had uh, Rosie O'Donnell, you had Mira Sorvino, uh, you had uh, Matt Dillon was in it. Uh, Michael Rappaport. It was just, it was these guys. Uh, oh, um, who was the, oh, geez. He was in, K, he was an 80s actor. Uh, he was in Cadence. He was in oh, Timothy Hutton. Oh, Timothy see, Hutton was like, just he's coming three, back. You mentioned three he's, turds in that movie, which would run. There are no turds in that, but those are all really oh, good actors. Dude, Matt Damon, kind of a weirdo. Not Matt, da- Matt Dillon, not Matt, Matt Dillon. Damon. Matt, oh, Matt Damon's fine. Matt Dillon, weirdo. Don't it's like a weirdo. Him. What's the way he's just, he just dude, he's me been out. around to he creeps me out, right? Rosie O'Donnell. No, no, don't care. Rosie O'Donnell's a good, I mean, look, she's a crazy person, but all actors and, and actresses are end, nuts anyway. The end? I said Timothy Hutton. Yeah, weirdo. Who did a bunch, yeah. Anyway. Don't like him. Okay. D- you're shitting on my 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 point was this. I'm doing nothing. He, this was Are you done? I was offering you're an opinion. Go. Okay. Maybe. Anyway, it was about uh, this their ten year class reunion. Timothy Hutton comes back, and his next door neighbor is, uh, you know, this thirteen year old girl played by Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. Okay. And uh, there's they developed like this weird kind of relationship, kind of like she's very she's like an old soul, right? And he gets wistful, tr- like talking to his buddy about this. She's you know she's going to be per- like in, you know, he was like, you know, and in seven years, I'll, you know, she'll be 20. I'll be 37. Won't be a big deal. And his buddy's like, dude, this girl was a zygote when you were in the seventh grade. <laughs> and it was like one of those, he's like, he was talking about, he, cause he was getting drunk. He's talking about being jealous of this girl talking to this 14 year old kid on a bike because he gets to be her age now. Yeah. And it was a little like that. It was a little like, okay, this is, this is kind of effed up. This is kind of this is kind of the Hollywood kind of. Oh, this isn't okay. Right. <laughs> I can't have these feeling. It's like 
No, because right. it's a little, there's that just, a just creepy. There's a creep factor in it. And even then I'm going, this is a, this is a little effed up. It's a great movie, yeah. but it was just, there were like scenes that make you go, oh, no, no, no. Yeah. And then she went on anyway. to become Princess Amidala in Star Wars. There you go, yeah. Is that, is that even yeah. right? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't see. I I I was uh, Seacrest out on Star Wars after Return of the Jedi. So any other I films have been, that were made after But that. I stuck around until uh, Luke Skywalker was killed off. Uh, oh, you know, wait, I'm sorry. I did. I, you mean Han Solo was killed off? No, Luke. Or was I, Luke? I, well, I, I saw. It, I wrote it right. I wrote it through the theaters right through the end of Skywalker. And that was I com- that. I completely forgot that I took Max to see the one where Han Solo dies. So Harrison Ford reprises his role and right. uh, ends up getting killed. Spoiler alert! Hopefully, I you know you saw that when it was seven or eight years ago, whenever the hell that was. Anyway, ready to get into this? Hey, dude, I was born ready. Let's do it. All you know right, what else I was go. born? What? I was born to boogie. Uh, of course. Yeah. Shake born. what your mama gave you. I just wanted whatnot. to throw that in there. In case anybody wanted to bully this good. weekend. Yes. Yeah. Andy's up for anything. Uh, what goes up must come down. The Dow Jones, which hit an all-time high of 40,000 in recent weeks, has dropped 1,000 points in just the last three days. The Dow was down, down another 300-plus points on Thursday to fall to 38,111. Despite a rocky week, the Dow is on track to end the month higher overall uh, following today's trading. Of course, it's the last day of may oh boy so you know it's all right it's all good okay Uh, overall you're gonna be up okay uh what else is happening placebos can help relieve mental disorders Uh, placebo tablets were used in a study of over nine thousand patients in their 30s and 40s with depression obsessive compulsive disorder attention deficit hyperactivity disorder post-traumatic stress disorder panic disorder and schizophrenia Virtually all saw a marked improvement in their symptoms with the placebo, less so with the schizophrenia. Uh, you know, if you believe it's going to work, there, there is something to the placebo effect. And just having a positive attitude about things, believing it's going to work, is half the battle. It's, it's one of those things where I, I am very fortunate and blessed that I do have a positive attitude just in general. I... I just am. That's my, I, I mean, I'm negative about certain things. I like looking at it and say, okay, I, that doesn't look good. But I'm not, I don't have, that's not my default setting. My default setting is yeah, everything's going to be fine. That's it's cool. all right. Not that big. My, my default is not, not a big deal. Nothing's a big deal. Virtually mm-hmm. nothing. Well, there's, there's what's called the default mode network in people's heads. Mm-hmm. And that default mode network repeats your, daily mantra if you will if mm-hmm. of of how you function how you work what, how you perceive things what you hear from people and all that other kind of stuff and um part of the the problem is is that with some of these things like ptsd and things like mm-hmm. that is that it's drilled into you for so long i mean that ptsd comes from a situation right Right. And you get into that situation by being trained to be put into that situation. And everything that you're taught and everything that you learn and then you experience gets caught in that default mode network. And that is where the real problems start to come into play when people suffer from untreatable depression. And to break that up, that's the goal of all of those meds out there. Mm-hmm. And some people can fall for the placebo effect i mean it, it, that's, and that's a positive a, it's a positive <laughs> that's a thing don't positive. get me wrong but there are also those out there who truly cannot get past those type things and need effective yeah. treatment that mm-hmm. goes oh. a little further than than uh, right what you can find out there mm-hmm. um it's 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 really um it's sad to think of where PTSD is coming from, especially not, especially when you see it in areas that are not the military. And right. It's like, 
Because that's how it was first associated. It was associated. Right. It was called shell shock, and then they called it post traumatic stress Then you start looking disorder, at somebody like, let's say thing. it's a, a 25 year old woman that's lived through a relationship of physical mm-hmm. harm and right. all this stuff. That that includes PTSD. Yes. I mean, that that's mm-hmm. crippling for a lifetime. Oh yeah, and stuff you, know? you like from your childhood you didn't even childhood necessarily crap. know about. You right. get you get stuff that you you push down deep as like a defense mechanism. It, it, it's part of what makes you the way you are. Right. And you can't, there's n- nothing you can do. I mean, that's just there. And then, you know, through therapy, through certain medications at times, and then, you know, sometimes placebos do work. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's, it's interesting because it all, it all comes back to, to your wiring. And I'm, yeah. I just have a positive outlook in general it's hard for me to to tell someone okay you just got to be you got to have a positive mind because some people just don't have it they just they're 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 wired for the negative my mom is kind of like that my mom is weird that way because she's a child of the depression yep so she sees i mean she's one of these people it's weird it's like if something major happens she's great She's great with trash. She deals well with tragic situations. She deals well with, you know, illnesses, people. She, she deals well with really important things. But then it's the the little things, it seems the little things that can make that can make her go to kind of a, a negative space at times. It's always limited. Yeah. It's always it's never long term, but uh, it's it's just interesting how that uh, how that can manifest itself. It's it's a, it's one of our greatest um ills as a society mental health yeah it really is we, mm-hmm. we need to do better with it oh yeah i, I think the, on the positive side the way we are people are just more aware of it now you're not, yeah. you're not tr- you're not you know trying to just push it down right all the time because that's not good for you either because then you don't know where that's going to eventually blow up and it's r- rarely pretty so anyway what else is happening another Human case of bird flu has been detected right here in Michigan. The most recent case in a farm worker who was exposed to an infected cow. Uh, This brings the grand total of infected humans to a not very alarming three. Uh, The man was treated with antiviral medications and is recovering. Uh, It's the same refrain. Uh, This is not a threat to the general public. Risk remains low. Uh, Again, it's two cases in Michigan of the three total in the country. So I, I, it's weird. Like that'll be in one of the major stores. Like you, you go down the list where you're talking like, I'll, and I'm very transparent about the sources. You know, I'll, I'll use uh, ABC news, AP. I'll check out Fox news. I'll check out um, uh, NBC.com. I'll check, you know, check out these sources and every single one of them will have a bird, like the bird flu story. It's like, okay, if this is not a big threat, why, why do you keep, updating us when there's two people there you go well let's see look at you look at you I'm coming in there you're using it yeah and yes no you're not dude i you're- i said something yesterday on facebook about the trial and i don't think people quite get it so let me just clarify this mm. is the reason that we were so exposed to everything and i'm going to tell you yeah. something honestly the outcome of the trial yesterday whether you love it or hate it Mm. it, it's irrelevant right and i'll tell you why because people who should know better about speculating on any outcome of a trial have no restraint anymore about saying their opinion their Mm. their thoughts their all this and if you especially look at twitter which is just it's the weekly world news it is just such Mm. bullshit anymore um all well, social media that. yeah 100 percent. my 100 okay here, here's where i'm saying my facebook is not as filled with the kind of trash i see on twitter as as so it could be different in other facebook feeds i don't know but for people like governors and senators and house of representatives people and all that other kind of stuff to not acknowledge that our justice system is getting its ass kicked by people that are supposed to be protecting it. That's a problem. Protecting if, it in what way? Uh, what, what, this is what a sham trial, blah, blah, blah. 
You know well, what, dude? I'm... Here's the thing. If it was anybody else, a jury of 12 people is how we decide things, right? And we are expected to take the outcome of that. So if well, it was it's... you or I, if it was you or I that were guilty and 12 mm-hmm. people found that, we we would be expected We'd appeal. to sit there and and we could appeal. Right? This is what's going to happen. But here's the thing. Oh, yeah. You're not going to have every governor in the entire country talking about how the the entire justice system has been a sham. And and that's the problem. Those are the people that are eroding the base of what we believe. And See, they're the ones that the, are there to protect us. That's terrible. Okay. I, I would say this. It, it all depends on which side of the aisle you're on. We're, we're a 50-50 split country. And that, hey, I'm, and not just saying this is on, I'm not just saying no. this is on the right. The left has no, been doing I, it too. I, yeah, I have read plenty same. of things that say, mm-hmm. you, you, open Twitter. He's destroyed by that evidence. This is going to be mm-hmm. the end yeah. for him. Blah, right. blah, blah. Yada, yada, it's yada. It, on the it, other that's side. That's my point. This is the biggest sham of justice mm-hmm. ever. Our justice system is failing. Blah, blah, it, blah. That... That is the problem with people not knowing how to get into what they believe and what they trust anymore. Mm -hmm. Because they're hearing from people that they're supposed to trust, and they're taking swings at the foundation of this country Mm -hmm. that don't belong getting swung at. I th- oh, I think every uh, that's where I would discuss. I think all of our foundations, because everything, our blinders have kind of been pulled off. We were all kind of assuming whether you're talking politicians, whether you're talking government officials, whether you're talking the justice system, these have always been flawed institutions, but we always assumed they were acting in our best interest. And that's just not the case. And it probably never has been. Uh, the, it, things have gotten better and worse, depending, you know, it, 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 it fluctuates, but each side is like, if, if, if this were the left, they would be doing the same thing that the right is doing right now. They would I, be doing the exam. You know this. It's I just, don't disagree. It's just everybody. It's like this is my team. If you attack this, you're attacking my team, and you, and therefore you're attacking me. Right. So I'm taking up for my guy. They're taking up for their guy, and that's all this is. It, it, it's nothing more than that, and it's nothing more than a power play. And that's why I just kind of. That's why I haven't. This is the first we've ever talked about it. Right. This is the first we've ever talked How about this, this. Though I don't. Let me give you I another mean, example. I mean, there was, a, about this. there was a police officer that had charges brought up on him here in Michigan mm-hmm. last week. Yeah. Um, the first thing out of his mouth was, our justice system's failing. These are fake charges. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you or I go out and shoot somebody, and the first thing we say is, our justice system's failing. These are fake charges. It don't play. Do you get my point? Yeah, I, if, I, if, if everybody yeah, I, down the line can continue to say our justice system's failing, well, these are fake. We've got no justice system. Well, our justice system does need to be better all across Doesn't the board. But every institution does. Every institution does. I, I think, and this is where I think you and I differ. I, when it comes to the powers that be in any institution. They need to show themselves to be more trustworthy. There needs to be more transparency as far as all that stuff goes across the board. And then they can start earning their trust back. But but yeah, for now, yeah, you're, you're always going to be skeptical. You're always going to have questions. You're always going to feel like this doesn't seem quite right. And I guarantee you what you're going to have coming down the pipe, you're going to see people getting prosecuted. Right, you, 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 This just happened. And this ain't the end of it. There's going to be a prosecution from the other side too. This is going to be nonstop for mm-hmm. the foreseeable future. It's ridiculous. And I'm not saying that's a good thing. No, no, no. I'm not saying it's a good thing, but it's somewhat understandable given the questions everybody has about everything all the time now. And there's reason to question a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Whether it's right or wrong, whether it's the right verdict or wrong verdict, I don't know. And most and nobody really does. It's all it's all it's all BS guess, guesswork, and we're just faking our way through it well, anyway. Well, to me, we'll and everything I was taught, we'll survive. if a jury of 12 people decides that it's that's the answer, that's what we're to accept. Mm, well, there's always, then there's the appeal process. I get that, and, but mm-hmm. at, at the very core of it, if a jury of 12 people decides that that was the fact, we, we are supposed to accept that, correct? Like, like with OJ. 
OJ was innocent. OJ was exonerated. Yeah. Do we accept that? I did. We accept that. We, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. I, hey. DNA be damned. I, I'm here to tell <laughs> you. A, I mean, there you go. It's just, uh, and and there's a reason. There's a reason for people. That's just a reason for people to be skeptical. But there's also a reason. There's something there. Uh, and again, I don't know what the fix is. The fix, other than these people becoming better and more ethical across the board, I just don't see that happen because there's too much cash in it one way or the other. And there's and there's also cash in the outrage mm -hmm. it, it, across the it. board. You you brought up you brought up you you brought the clicks. That's what this whole thing is about. That's what I'm telling you. Right, left. And that's the problem. Right, left, up, down. Doesn't matter. That's the problem. There we go. Sports Tigers back to 500, 28 and 28. They blank Boston five to nothing. Cubs lose. Cubs lose. Cubs lose. They fall to Milwaukee six to four. NBA Finals set will be Boston against Dallas. They take a week off. Assuming anybody, I mean, Ooh. I have not the former NBA hole. We used to love watching the. I have. I. I don't think I've watched five minutes of an NBA playoff game this year. I don't know. Is the NBA still a thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. You yes, know what else is still a thing? Like all the best, best players are heroes. You know what? The, you know what else is a thing? I know Jeopardy is. Jeopardy is, in the oh. TV kitchen once again. This time for twelve hundred. Yesterday you stumbled and failed, and then then you accused me of not saying things right, which I completely did. Well, you did not I did. say it right. I'm always right. No. So here you go. Actually, no. Yesterday was a gimme. Didn't I get yesterday's? No, you fell flat on your face because you couldn't think of oh. um, Gordon Ramsay. Oh, okay. He's got white That's hair. right. You're He's right. Like, uh, Let's go funky. See, I don't know who I he is, but um, name. Dom DeLuise? No, Dave. <laughs> not Dom DeLuise. <laughs> Oh, you I don't care today? if nobody under 50, I don't care if nobody under 53 got that one or 52 in my case. That was great. <laughs> this mayor of Flavortown visited plenty of kitchens on his diners, dive-ins, and drive, drive-ins and dives. Oh, shit. I know this guy, too. Um, Guy Fieri. There you go. 1,200. I know kid. this guy. I gave myself that Look one. at you slipping in the answer right there in your little self-affirmation buzzword thing where'd my watch me dance today? you're missing me dance you're missing me dance oh. i rarely dance i rarely do Love this it when you dance right. look at you shimmy go. and shake have yourself a great weekend and we'll do it again back here tomorrow see ya Happy Friday, Muskegon. We have some warmer temperatures on the way along with some chances for some storms early next week. So let's take a look at your forecast brought to you by Trinity Health. We can expect some warmer temperatures for the next couple of days, but with those warmer temperatures, we can also expect some rain and possibly some stormier weather early next week. Also with a chance of some rain on Saturday, which we'll look at shortly. We also have some potential for some cooling then next weekend after those systems move through that bring us those storms. Today will be very nice though with partly cloudy skies and a high right around 75 degrees. And today and tonight we'll have just some light winds out of the south around five to 10 miles per hour. We'll cool down tonight to about 56 degrees and we'll have some more clouds in the sky as the high pressure system that's currently over us, which is bringing us all of the sunshine, slowly starts moving out of our area. But across the county, we will be very warm with all of that sunshine that'll stick around during the day. Highs in the mid to higher 70s and a little bit cooler by the lake shore in the lower 70s and on the lake, of course, much cooler in the mid to high 60s. Now, taking a look at our future radar for that next chance to see some rain, Saturday midday around 1 or 2 p.m. is when we can expect some light rain to start and it will continue through the afternoon, but it should clear out by Saturday evening and we won't see another chance for rain until Monday. After those chances for some rain on Saturday, we'll clear right up for Sunday, so we'll for sure have one good day this weekend to get outside. It'll be around 75 for our high and mostly sunny skies. When we get into Monday, though, we do have a 50% chance 
of some rain showers along with a slight chance for some thunderstorms but we do continue to warm up with a high around 79 degrees we'll clear up for tuesday during the daytime but there is a 30 percent chance for some rain that night and Wednesday we have another 40% chance to see some thunderstorms during the day and a high around 76 with a 40% chance that night to see some thunderstorms but we do seem to be clearing up for Thursday although we do start to see that cooling trend that we possibly will be seeing for the weekend. That's all for your Friday forecast brought to you by Trinity Health for the Muskegon channel. I'm Tegan Schultz and I hope you all have a great weekend.